Tywin is murdered by Tyrion, who subsequently flees Westeros. At Tywin's wake, Pycelle offers his condolences to Cersei, stating that he never trusted Varys. However, she completely ignores him due to the shock of seeing Lancel as a sparrow. He later attends a meeting of the small council. Pycelle offers to fill the vacant position of the Hand of the King, but Cersei rejects his offer. He is also outraged when Cersei announces that Kyburn has been named the new Master of Whisperers. Pycelle is present during the wedding ceremony of Tommen and Marjorie. Later, Pycelle and the rest of the small council listen to the High Septon demand the arrest of all members of the Sparrows and execution of the High Sparrow. When it is brought forward that the Septon's demands come from being assaulted in a brothel, Pycelle, due to his own philandering ways, defends the Septon and insists, a man's private affairs ought to remain private. Pycelle is at the meeting of the small council when Mace Tyrell departs to negotiate the crown's debt with the Iron Bank of Bravos. He bitterly remarks that the small council is growing smaller every day, to which Cersei states that it is not yet small enough, highlighting the tension between the two. Following Cersei's arrest by the High Sparrow, Pycelle sends a raven to Castly Rock to summon Kevin back to King's Landing to serve as Hand of the King. After Cersei's walk of penance for adultery with Lancel, her hair cut and stripped naked, from the Sept of Baelor to the Red Keep, Pycelle, like her uncle, Kevin, glares sternly at her, in contrast to Kyburn's fawning. His expression of disgust deepens as Kyburn shows unnecessary familiarity in comforting the Queen. He is also shocked at the introduction of Gregor Clegane as a knight of the Kingsguard, who remains hidden behind the helmet, but with a monstrous structure clearly visible.